In the meantime, that hurricane and those survivors living here in the Tampa Bay area facing even more stress. Now that's right. Laid word tonight that Puerto Rico's governor is now reversing a decision that would have left 600 families across Florida homeless. All right, our Carson Chambers brought you this story last night and has an update for us now. Carson. And hey, we've been reaching out to U.S. lawmakers, U.S. Senator Marco Rubio and Bill Nelson. They have been taking action. Tonight we know the governor has reversed his decision, giving an unconditional extension for FEMA hotel rooms until May 31st. The only thing she's asking FEMA is to give her the 20 days that she needs. Time was running out for the Gomez family who lost their home during Hurricane Maria, a family of seven facing sleeping in their minivan because they were losing their FEMA hotel room Friday. U.S. lawmakers from Florida working to change the governor's mind. We've asked for it to be extended again. We've been pushing hard. Success today after stories like the Gomez families surfaced around our state. The deadline would have made nearly six families who relocated to Florida from Puerto Rico homeless again, this time by red tape, not hurricane. After our story aired, we learned a private donor stepped up and paid the Gomez family's hotel bill. Lawmakers like Kathy Castor took note, tweeting, working on this, pressing FEMA and Puerto Rico Governor Ricardo Rosello to change their harsh decision to halt housing assistance for displaced families. And advocates who had been assisting Maria survivors in our area made their pleas on Facebook. De personas desesperadas. Governor's grace period will extend until May 31st. Rubio and Nelson still pushing for another extension to the end of the school year. FEMA must approve these extensions. I'm Carson Chambers. Back to you.